Erev Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Microchipping, yes indeed, as you already know. Sherry Timpany uh, actually had sent this very um, image, or this actually, this website here, prepforthat.com, about UK cooperation to begin implanting microchips in thousands of citizens. I also noticed that RT News about 16 hours ago also published an article on the same actual thing. They are putting this in the hands. They are doing this all in the name of security, which makes me wonder if this is another reason why we're seeing such a global terrorism on the rise. It's not really that we have the terrorism in a true natural sense, but in an artificial uh movement that is happening around the world. There are acts of terror that are being committed all over the world, all over the globe. And what's it going to be for a new world order to control you, to keep you in line the way they want to keep you in line. And of course, as we have heard for years, microchipping was one of those ways to be able to do that. Uh, and this has become a very controversial issue. Now I'm going to blow the text up for you so you can see a little bit about what's going on right here. Uh, it says here on the article, British companies are raising red flags with unions and employer organizations throughout the country and moving towards employee chip implants. The companies claim that the implanted microchips bolster security and improve convenience for workers. Critics claim this will allow employers to control the micromanaging employees. Critics also believe that the employees risk job loss or refusing to, for refusing to comply. I can see it already that it will be mandatory in schools in the United States in the coming months and years unless Americans wake up and stand up to this evil that is happening in our land there. But let me read on. It doesn't end there. We've already been hearing about this ourselves over in the Czech Republic before uh, that this was a, something that would be a reality in the future. And I'm not citing any particular sources over there, just things that we've heard that is coming for the European Union. But it also says one chip company, Biotech, allows the employer to conveniently implant the chip between the index finger and the thumb of the employee. Another company produces a chip smaller than a bird seed. Employees that utilize implanted microchips will be able to use them for opening their office doors, start their car, store their medical data. The last part of that list should terrify us all, quite honestly. The UK CBI, which represents nearly 200,000 UK businesses, is sounding the alarm over over the trend while technology is changing the way we work this makes for distinctly uncomfortable reading firms should be co concentrating on rather more immediate priorities and focusing on engaging their employees a cbi spokesperson said uh, per the guardian but you know guys this is definitely not a good trend here uh very very serious situation it's things we've known about we've talked about these things over the years uh, we've actually shared with you, my wife, in an interview of a nurse uh, here in the United States some time back, uh, that when she came on, she had shared with us a screenshot of the computer at the hospitals here in America that actually had the place for your microchip identification number for patients. The infrastructure has been well underway. It is coming. We need to get ready. We need to stand our ground and not allow such an evil in this world. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, Erev Tov. And don't forget, stand with this ministry. We're trying to get everything to you that's truthful and honest. Please support the broadcast. IsraeliNewsLive.org. Got a powerful message I'll be sharing on Israeli News Live. Uh, Revelation chapter 10, something that God shared with me. Can't wait to share that with you guys. It's been a mystery, been bugging me for years. I'm Steve Benet. Good evening.